Hey everybody, what is up? My name is Nash Potatoes, and today is June 11th, 2013, the day after the E3 conferences about PS4, the Xbox One, the Wii U, and Ubisoft, I want to say. And wow, was that a spectacular show. They really outdid themselves, especially PS4, and this video is specifically targeted at the PS4 uh, conference. Holy shit, they did a sick job from the start to finish. It was a little laggy at some points, but honestly, who even remembers it now because after what happened? So, for those of you who were not able to watch it and are watching this video, uh, or E3 in general, um, you missed E3, so I'll just give you a little background. Uh, Xbox did their conference from, like, I don't know, they did their conference for about four hours, five hours, and there was a lot of talk about it. Later on into the night, Ubisoft did one for about an hour, two hours, and then PlayStation 4 ended the entire thing with a, on a live stream on GameTrailers.com or just on the PS4 uh, page. So, uh, fuck, there goes the yawn. Alright, but anyway. So, they mentioned a lot of games, and they were actually good trailers, okay? I want to say things right now. Xbox One really showed you, like, four-second trailers when it really came down to it. Like, things with a huge, like, what the fuck did I just kind of watch kind of thing. PS4 kind of gave you a little bit of action and shit that you could see. And what I mean by that is, these, these are the games that stood out for me. Uh, for the PS4 press conference that I saw, Beyond Two Souls, The Last of Us, Gran Turismo, I think it was Gran Turismo 6 or something, I don't know. The Order 1886, Second Son, Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag, Watch Dogs, and Destiny. All of those games were really the ones that kind of stood out and could be key factors as to why I would make this switch over from Xbox to the PlayStation Nation. So, let's kind of get down into it. Uh, from what I remember, the first game that I kind of loved, and I've been seeing it, long, I've been seeing it around for a while now, it's called The Last of Us. It's kind of like a zombie survival game, somewhat like, um, it's, it's kind of like, it is and it isn't at the same time. Like, basically... There's a zombie outbreak and you're with like this. You have these two people, but then like there's these, or there's this organization that's after this girl and this girl's with you and you don't know why she's really after them. Uh, she why they're really after her, but you kind of crack down and figure out why. Oh my god, I hate yawning. So that was uh that's gonna be a cool game. It's gonna be a lot of drama and shit, and I cannot wait for that. Another game that's coming out, the Gran Turismo. I grew up on Gran Turismo. PlayStation Two. I must have had like four copies of Gran Turismo 3, but I did have two brothers, but still though, it was my favorite racing game ever, and to this day, it possibly is, depending on Forza 5, because that game looks dope as fuck. Alright, moving on, The Order 1886, this game caught my attention because, for those of you who missed it, again, I'm telling you a little something about it, it was, uh, it's kind of like, I'm assuming it's placed in like the 1800s, or specifically 1886, like the game says, and it's kind of like... You, there was a switch in time. Someone took a time machine and brought back like a machine gun, and it was able to be used back then. And they're like, they must have make, made their own machine guns or something. And you see like a carriage and stuff, with, like horses, and inside the guys all have like loaded modern day machine guns, like, but like to an extreme, like to to like a setback. I mean, they're machine guns, but they're like maybe machine guns from like 1910, like early kind of machine guns, not like today's like high point and all that shit like that but uh there's a uh, seems to be something going on in this like town that's locked up with a gate and uh inside there's like monsters and i don't really know there could be vampires considering it's the 1800s and shit or it just could be actual like aliens or whatever but i don't really know they really didn't tell us their show us because they kind of showed dark shadows but it still looked really good and i'm gonna try to link all of the um trailers down in the description and i'll leave a little name next to them from what I know, the Rad Brad kind of went hard yesterday, posting a lot of game trailers, so if you want to check him out too. Alright, so anyway, the second game that I saw was called, it was, it was called Second Son. Uh, son, S-O-N, like the son and daughter, like the second son, okay. So basically, it was these two brothers, uh, one of them has like these powers, kind of like similar to like, uh, I don't know, see I'm better with names right now. Uh, it's kind of like that, like telekinesis kind of shit, or um, something like that. And he's got all these powers, kind of like in the movie Chronicle. You can, if you ever seen Chronicle, he's kind of got powers like that. Like he could do whatever he wants, force you, get through you, or whatever. That's what she said. But yeah, so 
it's basically like he's supernatural and he's got all this shit to him. Um, and he's a freak. And then his brother, they didn't really tell you if he's a freak either, but he seems to be like a guy who's like the head of the police department, like the modern day police department or FBI or something like that. And uh, they're showing... It's ba he's basically saying, like, why do I have to arrest my own brother again? Do you like it when I do this? And he goes, well, you, if you just join me, this would be a lot easier. And the other guy's like, likewise. So it's basically going to be a conflict with two brothers that either are against each other or they pair up and do their own thing. But I I really can't wait to see uh, more of it coming November or whenever the PS4. I believe it's coming out in November as well. But we will see the determining factors. So anyway, moving on. The second game, or another game that I saw... Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. I fucking love the Assassin's Creed series, okay? I really extremely love it. I love what they do with it, but for some reason, I just... Every ending, I just shed a brick, and they always get the best of me. Like, Assassin's Creed 3, I basically didn't know what to do. I was just sitting there, and my brain fried, and I looked up, like, five endings, like, what what it meant. And, uh, I was... I was... I didn't know what to do. I was seriously just dead. It melted my brain, and I love that, uh... You can go back in time and play as all these different assassins, of course, because that's really what the game is built on. But then they have that sub-story when you're playing as uh, the main character. Well, not main character, but you're playing as Desmond, and you kind of do all of your modern-day stuff. So if you really look at it, uh, there's two games in one, but you have to really kind of... Whenever you go back to being Desmond, you kind of got to focus out. But Black Flag, anyway, looked amazing. It actually looked like next-generation graphics, all right? From the smoke to the grass and the forest to the water, it all looked surreal. Even in Battlefield, like, everything was kind of... I mean, Battlefield 4 looked like a movie, don't get me wrong. But, like, Assassin's Creed was, like, a legit brand new game of stuff. Like, year after year there's new graphics, but this was actually, like, a new platform graphic for, like, a normal game. Kind of like Grand Theft Auto. But Battlefield, of course, has high expectations, and they had to go above and beyond. Anyway... Ah, moving on. Jeez, I'm talking a lot right now. Watch Dogs. Uh, Watch Dogs is a game I've been seeing since about E3 last year, I want to say, or PAX East. And that game looked cool as fuck. It's basically Grand Theft Auto to, to, a, a, sub, like, to a way. Um, but you're this guy who has like a, like a cell phone and you can like hack things like just by pressing a button, I guess. And you work with this guy and you have to kind of like get him out of trouble. and You have to clear your name, basically, because the government kind of fucked both of you guys over as like America's Most Wanted or something like that. And you kind of try to hack your way in and change that so no one really knows. But uh, you can basically hack anything like street cameras, uh, people's cell phones. Like say they're calling the police on you, like help the guys right here. You can turn off their phone and like beat the shit out of them, tell them like kill themselves or whatever. I don't know, something like that. But overall, it's going to be a sick game. Again, guys, trailer's down in the description if you don't know what I'm talking about. So to end the uh, games that I saw, Destiny, woo, fucking who, we finally saw it. All the talk about the game that's going to take 10 years to make or progress, whatever. And we have shit already, alright? So, uh, it was like about 14 minute gameplay. It was a couple guys, and it was really cool. That game is going to be a sick motherfucking game. I cannot wait to get my paws on that game. Uh, basically, they showed about like 12 minutes or something like that, and they basically were showing how you're using teamwork to kill guys. It's basically like playing an MMO, if I have to say so. Because there's bosses, there's community events, there's shit like, a uh, community event they showed was like, um, there's like this big beetle, robot beetle, and like, there's like nine people attacking it and stuff. And it was really sick, and then they have like different bosses that you kill, and you get drops and stuff, like new gun upgrades and possibly armor upgrades. But overall, I loved every minute of it, and it was definitely jaw-dropping. But, finally, uh, coming to an end of this video, the most jaw-dropping scene at the Sony press conference was when they kind of you got served Microsoft okay for those of you who didn't see this at the PlayStation 4 conference that was on a live stream on either game trailers or you went to the tweet uh, that linked out it they basically bitch slapped or pimp slapped whatever you prefer uh, they basically did any sort of rivalry like Rocky 4 right here they annihilated Xbox they basically finished it up saying, Alright, so some things our fans want to know. No, you don't have to pay a used games fee. If you want to trade your used games to your friends, feel free to do so. No ifs, ands, or buts. Fuck you, Microsoft. Again, if you guys want to play a game, just a campaign, because you don't have PlayStation Live, you don't have to be connected to Live. You just gotta play the fucking campaign game. <laughs> Boom. Fuck you, Microsoft. And then they kind of ended it up like, the camera will not always be on, you will not need to have live, 
all the time to play Xbox One or PlayStation 4 in this case. And then a fucking 1, 2, 3 KO knockout punch to Xbox and Microsoft as a whole. I was sitting there like, oh my god, and the crowd was even going, oh shit, man, oh, and they were going crazy. And it was really cool, and I couldn't believe that shit. Basically, like watching, uh, it's basically like listening to a presidential debate, and it's like, yeah, Obama, you're black, sir, bitch, and like John McCain drops the microphone or whoever ran for president this year. I can't really think of it off the top of my head. Anyway, so, yep, that's really all, guys, about the PlayStation 4 conference of things that stood out for me. The Xbox, uh, the PlayStation 4 is retailing for $399. That was also something that they kind of tossed Xbox with because Xbox is being released for $499. I'm just going to say $500. So it's $500 for Xbox One. It's $400 for PS4. I couldn't believe what happened last night. That's all I've got to talk about today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you're new, subscribe. Please feel free to share the shit out of this because I will be getting a lot more videos done come this summer. So anyway, guys, it's been me. It's been Alvin Nash. And until next video, take care.